The World Health Organization confirmed the outbreak of coronavirus in China in December 2019. This virus had been detected in Wuhan City, situated in the Chinese province of Hubei. This sparked off a laboratory leak theory with suspicions that the coronavirus might have escaped either intentionally or accidentally from a laboratory in the central Chinese city of Wuhan. The thinking was shared by scientists and some leaders of world powers led by the then American President Donald Trump. Whether it started off as a mistake and then they made another one, or did somebody do something on purpose? That's a hard question for them to answer. One institute of virology, a laboratory found in Wuhan where the virus was first recorded, was on a spotlight for having a history of analyzing bat viruses and being closed to Huanan wet market where the first cluster of infections was discovered. Donald Trump took a lead in advancing this theory to the extent of calling on other countries to penalize China for concealing information about the deadly virus in its early stages in one UN conference in 2020. As we pursue this bright future, we must hold accountable the nation which unleashed this plague onto the world, China. All that said and heard, how true is this theory? First, according to BBC, the distance from Wuhan Institute of Virology, the major biological research facility in the area, to Hanan Seafood Market is a 40-minute drive. Wuhan Institute of Virology has a history of analyzing bat viruses, whereas Huanan Seafood Market is where the first cluster of infections emerged in Wuhan City. In 2015, the Wuhan Institute of Virology was upgraded to the National Biosafety Laboratory, the first of its kind in China, and this exercise consumed $44 million. Subsequently, the lab engaged in research of coronaviruses and the causative agents of the severe acute respiratory syndrome outbreak of 2003. Therefore, the institute without doubt has been involved in studying coronaviruses before. A number of experts anticipate that SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, originated from bats just as the severe acute respiratory syndrome SARS. However, at the time of outbreak, Kwanani market did not sell bats. China also has a history of being the origin of bat-related coronavirus diseases. At the end of February 2003, the severe acute respiratory syndrome SARS was discovered in southern China. It later spread to four other countries according to the World Health Organization. SARS infected more than 8,890 people by July 2003 and left 813 dead. According to the American Journal of Tropical Medicine, in the year 2016, another novel bat origin coronavirus emerged in China. This type of virus causes a novel acute episonic disease in pigs known as swine acute diarrhea syndrome coronavirus. Coronavirus. The disease also attacks human beings. To date, three of the four fatal bat virus associated diseases have emerged from China in the space of only 18 years. Furthermore, the world has seen confirmed cases of coronavirus without clear exposure to the seafood market in Wuhan. According to the International Journal of Infectious Diseases, there is no evidence that eating virus contaminated food causes infections and transmission. This further renders the theory that coronavirus originated from Hanan seafood market and its links to consumption of wild animals meat weak. Right from the beginning, it was widely accepted that coronavirus originated from Wuhan, the Chinese province of Hubei. China Centers for Disease Control and Prevention also publicly accepted this. However, along the way, Chinese officials started claiming that the deadly virus did not originate from China, but perhaps from the US. Without evidence, Zhao Rijan, a foreign minister spokesperson on 12 May 2020, stated that the US Army had brought the virus in China. The shift from the original and official position of Chinese government leaves a lot of questions behind. Contrary to what the Chinese government official statements, World Health Organization which indicated that the first cases of coronavirus had been registered on 8th December, a report carried by the Chinese media, the South China Morning Post indicated that Chinese authorities had discovered the first cases of COVID-19 as early as 17th May 2020, and that at least 266 people had contracted the virus and put under medical surveillance weeks before authorities announced the emergence of a new virus.
This cover up coupled with crackdown on doctors who attempted to raise alarm with colleagues raises a lot of suspicion. Reports have it that doctors who attempted to make an alarm were even reprimanded. Dr. Ai Fen also went public, saying authorities had stopped her and her colleagues from warning the world. She has now disappeared. According to the Guardian newspaper, authorities did not concede there was human-to-human -human transmission until 21st January 2020. In a 2015 report published by Lee and others about the species of bats acting as natural reservoirs for SARS-like COVID-19 viruses, they pointed out the genetic diversity of the viruses in bats, highlighting the possibility of them infecting humans. The transmission from palm civets to humans occurred when the civets came into human contact in the live animal markets. The report further said that when the pools of COVID-19 viruses in bats were limited, the likelihood of a future emergence of this viral outbreak was never anticipated. However, when it was proven that a semeric virus containing a SARS-like cluster of saturating bat coronaviruses spike in a SARS-CoV-19 virus backbone causes robust infections in both human airway cultures and mice, a warning was issued that the starting materials required for SARS-like emergent strains were already saturating in animal reservoirs. The same warning was issued by a research team in China that spent five years in the Shitao caves of Yuanan sampling from the bats. Both were highlighting the potential disease outbreak if adequate precautions were not taken. The prior warnings by researchers and then the outbreak of COVID-19 in December 2019 in a space of only four years are casting doubt on the accidental leak theory since information about possible outbreak was already available just as potential to foil its emergence was. Considering the reports published by Wuhan Institute of Virology into the origin of coronavirus, the areas where research was conducted and where exactly the disease originated were different. For instance, Cancer Research, Statistics and Treatment Journal reported that all studies of Shi Zhengli, the lead virologist from the Institute on Bat-related Coronaviruses, were centered into the southern subtropical areas of Yunnan. However, the outbreak occurred in Wuhan, which is almost 90 kilometers from Yunnan, bringing more questions on why the focus was not put on Wuhan, where the virus emerged. Surprisingly, as samples from infected patients were compared with those from the bats, none of them matched, leaving another key question behind that. If not from the bats, where did the novel strain of coronavirus come from? Howard Dan Bosco, a student of Makerere University.